hey hi guys so welcome back now i am going to tell you something about pressure energy pressure energy okay here we are we never came across such pressure energy thing in case of solids right well that is because generally we don't consider the pressure difference for the solids okay then what is this pressure energy now let us see an example now let us consider a tube in which ideal fluid is flowing okay and this is the tube's axis generally we consider the height of the molecule at any level in the tube okay at any level from the axis let us say this is ground so we consider the height of molecule here or here or here at this level with the height from tube axis of tube okay now let us see let this be point a and this be point b this uh, and area of cross section here be a1 and here be a2 so what do we observe here let the velocity of fluid at a1 sorry at point a bv and at point bu here we surely can tell that a1 is greater than a2 so we already know that area is inversely proportional to velocity so we can write v2 okay sorry sorry my bad we can write u is greater than v now let us take the kinetic energies half m u square is greater than half m v square or half m v square is less than half m u square so now we can tell that as a particle travels from here to here there is a loss in kinetic energy and if we see at the gravitational potential energy due to the same height at all levels there is no difference in gravitational potential energy so there is energy lost here but according to law of conservation of energy energy can neither be obtained or destroyed unless it is available in the surroundings well it can never be destroyed so here where does this energy go actually this energy remains with the molecule in the form of pressure energy what is pressure energy then now it's the time to define it yeah pressure energy boom we, here we are pressure energy it is the energy obtained by a fluid by the virtue of pressure difference in its surroundings so i hope now you can define pressure ener pressure energy very quickly and easily it's just the energy obtained by a fluid due to the pressure difference well here we can see pressure at point b is pv pressure at point a is pa so as u is greater than v we can simply state pa is greater than pb so here we can easily tell that there is a difference in pressure energy due to the 
pressure difference in in its surroundings so yeah this is the simple idea behind the pressure concept of pressure energy thank you